main motto of dryland cropping plan is to get maximum benefit of available soil and moisture. Crop planning depends on the amount of rainfall and its distribution, type and depth of soil, etc. Monocropping is better in the regions with less than 500 mm rainfall, groundnut, sorghum, finger millet, minor millets, etc. are preferred here. Multiple and intercropping systems are followed in the region with 600 to 850 mm rainfall. Here, one or the other crop in the combination gives comfortable yield. Few examples of such crop plans are here. Sorghum red gram 6 to 8 is to 1. Sorghum cowpea 2 is to 1. Cotton black gram 1 is to 2. Groundnut red gram 6 to 8 is to 1. Groundnut castor 6 to 8 is to 1. Bengal gram coriander 4 is to 1. Maize cowpea 2 is to 1. Finger millet cowpea red gram 6 is to 1 is to 1. Groundnut red gram 11 is to 1. Sorghum red gram 2 is to 1. Groundnut castor 4 is to 1. Bengal gram castor 3 is to 1. Finger millet red gram 8 is to 1 and so on. Here are a few crop lands considering the depth of soil. In very shallow soils with 2 to 3 inch depth, better to grow fodder grasses. For soils with 6 to 9 inch depth, dolicos, castor, fodder grasses, agroforestry species, horticultural crops, pearl millet, lentil, etc. are recommended. For soils with half to one and a half feet depth, minor millets, red gram, sunflower, groundnut, castor, etc. are preferred. For soils with two to three feet depth, green gram or black gram in Karif season and sorghum or safflower in Rabi season are recommended. In deep soils, one can grow most of the dry land crops. Let us study cropping plans depending on the time of onset of monsoon. If the rain starts in May itself, go for sesamum red gram 10 is to 2 or 3 is to 1. If the monsoon starts in May last week to June first week, put red gram maize 1 is to 1, red gram short duration cowpea 1 is to 1, sorghum red gram 2 is to 1, castor linseed or finger millet, 3 is to 1, etc. If the rain starts by June 2nd week to July months, go for finger millet, red gram, 8 is to 2, groundnut, red gram, 8 is to 2, groundnut, castor, 8 is to 1, finger millet, dolichos, 8 is to 1 or 10 is to 1, etc. If the rain delays further, put finger millet, soya bean, 4 is to 1, Horse gram, linseed, 8 is to 2, etc. Shortage of rainfall and drought are very common in dry land regions. Drought may appear in the beginning, at the middle, or at the end of the cropping season. In such situations, farmer has to try to minimize the effect of drought to achieve better yield. Let us understand few such methods now. If the monsoon is delayed, go for transplanting of chili and finger millet instead of direct sowing. Raise staggered nursery for the purpose. If the drought appears in the early stage of crop, take up repeated harrowing between crop rows to close the cracks in the soil surface to minimize evaporation. If the drought is severe, harvest the crop as fodder. If the drought is expected, increase inter-row spacing and put more plants in the row. In case of mid-season drought, go for thinning to reduce plant density. This will bring down the competition for moisture. Otherwise, remove every alternate row. Spraying of water once in a week is useful in crops like groundnut, castor, red gram, etc. Spraying 2% urea once in 7 to 10 days is also effective. If the drought appears in the last stage of crop, 
provide life-saving irrigation and put mulching between crop rows. In the crops like red gram, cowpea, dolichos, if the drought appears at pot filling stage, the crop may be harvested as green vegetable. If the first crop fails in sorghum and pearl millet, ratoon crop is possible with further rains. If the duration of rainfall is less, harvest the first crop early, that is at physiological maturity, to facilitate next crop. Here are a few more methods to improve crop yield in dryland farming. The first one is to minimize evaporation. Create pulverized soil layer between crop rows by repeated harrowing. Go for mulching if the crop residues, grass or sugarcane trash are available. If possible, mulch with plastic sheet. Of course, it is a bit costlier. White plastic sheet is better in summer. Black plastic is good in the winter, which increases soil temperature. Growing fodder cowpea as mulch crop is practiced in sorghum. Cover crop in rubber plantation is very common. Mulching has many advantages, like soil and water conservation, weed and soil temperature controls, etc. Weeds affect the crop yield up to 30 to 75 percent. Hence, effective and timely weed control is most important. Root grubs and termites are common in dry land farming. Take up control measures for better yield. Around 99% of water absorbed by the plant is spent by transpiration. To bring down this loss and to save the plant from drought, spraying wax and hydrated lime etc. are also practiced. In crops like cotton and chili, psychosyl hormone is sprayed to control vegetative growth. Spraying planofix in groundnut brings modification in the plant. It gives drought tolerance and more yield. Windbreakers around the garden or farm reduce the wind speed, which brings down transpiration rate. Growing grass or dicot crops, like a carpet between rows of trees, is also popular. Planting of unpalatable perennial grass is quite useful for soil and water conservation. Cynidon grass and dicot plant like Stylozanthus are commonly used for this purpose.